Rusty learns to skate. I'm so excited to go skating! The lake looks perfect. That is some nice ice. I'm going to measure how thick it is, just to make sure it's nice to skate on. Yep, it's thick enough. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Stand back while I fill the hole, guys. Is that some kind of freeze ray? You're like a superhero. I'll be your sidekick. Ice Cube Boy. It's a freeze spray. It sprays water, then freezes it. Oh, I get it. Kind of. Instantly refrozen. That's amazing, Rusty. We could use it to freeze the lake and ice skate whenever we want, even in the middle of summer. Well, it only works on one small area at a time. It can't freeze anything big. Hey, guys. Ice to see you. <laughs> see what I did? I didn't know you liked to ice fish, Sammy. This is my first time. I enjoy ice, I enjoy fishing, so I thought, why not do them together? Do you mind if we go for a skate? <laughs> go for it. So far, the only thing I've caught ice fishing is ice. <laughs> Let's skate, guys. Come on. You're not woo-hooing. Oh, I just came to make sure the ice was thick enough for you guys. No woo-hooing for me. Rusty, you always have an excuse not to skate. Last time you said a giant robot was chasing you. It was. I built it. It didn't exactly work right. Okay, fine. The truth is, I never skate because I never learned how. I just don't see the point of practicing when I know I'm not good at it. But, Rusty, skating is so much fun! Look at me, I'm flying! Well, I actually have flown several times with jetpacks and rockets, so... You love ice skating, Rusty. You've got to try it. Look, even the bits love it. Uh -huh. <laughs> are right. I should try. I make giant robotic dinosaurs in spaceships. So how hard can ice skating be? That's the spirit. Liam and I will go get everything you need to learn how to skate. Here you go, Rusty. Ice skates. And a chair to lean on. Ha! <laughs> Good one. You guys are such teasers. Seriously, do I get a pair of remote-controlled skates? Or some kind of flying chair? No, really, this is it. Really? There's nothing else I can use? What's wrong with chairs? That's how we all learned. Come on, Rusty. You've got to start somewhere. <sighs> okay, I guess I have to do this the old-fashioned way. All right, here I go. Whoa! Rusty! 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 I'm doing it! I'm... <laughs> Not doing it. Ow. Okay, no problem. I'll just try again. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. Ah! Look at it! Ow. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, third time's a charm. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. You're doing it! Yeah, but I'm still going really slowly. And, you know, holding a chair. It takes lots of time and practice to go fast. Or I do this rusty style instead. See? Skating is easy and fun if you just use a little technology. But that's not really skating. Okay, going a little too fast now. And I can't steer. Whoa! Are you okay? You guys were right. Grappling hooks and ice skating? Do not mix. But I have a much better idea. Please don't be rocket skates. Please don't be rocket skates. I'm back with rocket skates. You know, maybe you should just stick with the normal skates and practice more. <laughs> don't worry, guys. It's rocket skates. What could possibly go wrong? Do you want to answer him or should I? Three, two, take cover, everyone!
out of power. I'm okay, guys. Help! Ah! Nasty! Help! Oh no! Everyone's trapped on hunks of ice! Everyone but Whirly is trapped on hunks of ice. You mounted the ice with your rocket skates! Sorry, guys. You were right. I should have learned to skate the normal way. Then this... Apology accepted! Now let's get to the saving! Oh, right. On it. Whirly, do you think you can try pulling them back to shore? Bye Grappling hook won't work, but we still have mine. Nice shot, Rusty. Whoa! I don't think I should move. The ice is wobbly. Good point. Okay, what else do I have that can help? My freeze spray. It can freeze the pieces of ice together when I get them close enough to me. Ruby, out here! This ice floats fast. I need a way to pull the ice chunks in and freeze them together at the same time. I know! I'll combine it and design it! I can't hold the grappling hook and the free spray at the same time. I need something to mount them on, like my backpack. Then I'll attach the grappling hook to one of the shoulder straps and my free spray to the other. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Away. Don't worry, I'll save you. Let's do this. Retrieved and frozen. Thanks, Rusty. is changing. Woohoo! Mm. Except I'm stuck on an ice floe in the middle of the lake. Never mind. Don't worry, Sammy. I'll save you. I'm too far away. You can get closer, Rusty. You just have to skate out on the ice. Bring me my chair. Oh, yeah. Here I come, Sammy. I'm saving you. Very slowly. And with a chair. Rusty! 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 Uh, whoa! I did it! I skated! <laughs> Hold on, Sammy. I'll pull you in. Woohoo! Great job, Rusty! <gasps> oh, no! Whoa! Yeah, Rusty. Hold Rusty tight, everyone. Here comes Sammy. Thanks, guys. You saved me. And I caught a fish. Sweet! Hey, I lost my fish. 
<laughs> Great work, Rusty. Everyone's safe. And you skated. Yeah, I did. You guys were right. With my skates, a chair, and lots of practice, I could get just as good at skating as you. <laughs> Okay, what do you think? I think it's awesome. Yup, the Song Otron 7300 will make any celebration better. Want to test it out? Activating fun. <laughs> guys, guys, guys! Liam, what's wrong? I think he wants us to guess. First word? One of a kind? One or the other? Once upon a time? Uh, no! I've lost Tyrannosaurus Ralph! Your toy dinosaur? How'd you lose him? I went hiking this morning with my Spartan Scouts troop, and when the bus got home, I couldn't find Ralph anywhere. I must have dropped him before I got on the bus. Poor Ralph must be so afraid out there. I'm sure he's fine, Liam. Of course he is. We'll go out first thing tomorrow morning and find him. That'll be too late. We have to go find him now. Liam, wait. I'm coming, Ralph! We'd better go after him. Come on, Ruby. Looks like the fun will have to wait. my multi-tool. Oh, no! I think I left my multi-tool back in the yard. Ralph! 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 Liam, you went on a hike with your troop. Are you sure you had Ralph when you got back here? Sure, I'm sure. I think. <gasps> Wait! Ralph was with us when we stopped to drink from our canteens. I remember because he was super thirsty. Where was that? Down that path over there. Perfect. We'll just retrace where the troop went and find Ralph. Let's get searching. Not in here. Worms? Yes. T-Rex? No. Mm. <laughs> Ralph? <gasps> Definitely not Ralph. <laughs> Not here either. Ralph! Uh-uh. Hmm. I sure wish I'd brought my multi-tool. If I had it, I could build something to help us... Wait! I heard something! That's his roar! Ralph! <gasps> that way! That way! That way! How does Ralph keep moving like that? Unexpected. Come back, you! <gasps> How do we get him down? If I had my multi tool, I'd have him down in like two seconds. I know who can help. Let's get some bits on the fix. 
Oh, it looks like we're too far into the woods to signal the bits for help. So, Ralph's gonna be stuck up there forever? And we're way out in the forest where nobody will ever, ever find us? And it's all my fault! One problem at a time, Liam. First, let's get Ralph out of that tree. But you don't have your multi-tool. We'll just have to use whatever we brought with us. Okay, everyone, empty your pockets. Great. Next, look around for a stick shaped like a Y. You mean like this? Good work, Liam. in circles. Any of this look familiar to you? Nope. And my goggles aren't helping either. Sure wish I had my multi-tool. Well, Ralph, I guess we'll have to get used to eating twigs and tree bark. Don't give up yet. I'll reprogram my tablet to boost the signal and call the bits. <laughs> Did it work? So much for getting help or finding our vehicles. Then we'll just have to build a new vehicle. But Rusty, what about your tools? I got this, Ruby. What do you think? Um, uh... Well, whatever we do, it better be fast. Cause it'll be dark soon, and we don't have a flashlight, or tents, or s'mores, or anything. If Worthy were here, she could fly up, use her camera to show us where we parked, and how to get there. Unfortunately, she's back at the recycling yard with the others, and I'll bet she's worried. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say about Worley? That she could show us where we are and where we have to go. That's it! She'd fly up! Um, how are we going to get a Whirly view without Whirly? Look, Whirly's like a little helicopter, right? Yeah. So that's what we need to make. Doesn't a helicopter have a motor? And I don't see any motors around here. I think I know another way to make our helicopter fly. Okay, let's combine it and design it. We'll use that hollow log for the body. And to keep it in the air, we'll use those branches to build a propeller. And finally, we'll need something like that slingshot we built before, only bigger. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. your tools after all. Not when I have my best friend's help. Now we just need a volunteer to go up in it. Ooh, ooh, pick me, pick me! I should do it. I'm the one who got us lost in the first place. He is the lightest, and we need this to fly as high as possible. Okay, Liam. All you have to do is hold Ruby's tablet really steady. I'll use my glove to make it take pictures by remote control. And the photos you take will show us where we parked. You can count on me!
walls. And there's the path that'll lead us to them. Come on! Just where we left them. Yup! Now we can finally go home. So much for being worried. Sorry I got us lost, guys. That's okay, Liam. We found a way to get home safe and sound. And we found a way to build something, even without my tools. Ah, my multi-tool. Thanks, Whirly. And best of all, we found Ralph. <gasps> you know, I think all of that calls for a celebration with a little help from the Songotron 7300. Hit it, Botasaur. <laughs> Rusty and the Mechanical Animal. <laughs> Come here, little monkey. <laughs> Come on, here's some medicine. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't like taking medicine either. Well, he's not going to take his medicine on his own, so it's time for Plan B. Plan B? You mean a giant robot? Or a turbo medicine squirter? Or a giant robot with a turbo medicine squirter? Nope, a song. One I made up a long time ago. Monkey, monkey, see. Monkey, monkey, do. Come here, little monkey. Here's some medicine for you. <laughs> That's so cool. He really likes it. May I record it? Yep. Monkey, monkey, laugh. Monkey, monkey, bright. Come here, little monkey, and I'll hug you oh so tight. Whoa! That song was monkey music magic. I can't believe how well it worked. Well, as they say, music soothes the wild animal. And the not-so-wild animal. <laughs> You're so good with animals, Anna. That's because I love, love, love them. Well, all kinds, too. I always wanted a pet. You don't have a pet? <sighs> Nope. I spend too much time here at the animal park taking care of these guys. It wouldn't be fair leaving a pet at home alone. Not even a goldfish? <laughs> I think the only pet I could handle would be one that had an on and off switch and ran on batteries. <laughs> oh, time to tuck this little guy into bed. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Definitely. Time to bolt. <laughs> What kind of pet could we make for her? Let's design her a pet that runs on batteries with an on and off switch, like she said. Okay, so what do you think we should build? A cute little mechanical puppy? A cuddly mechanical kitten? Or maybe an adorable bodosaur? <laughs> I don't know. Anna loves so many animals. It's hard to choose just one. Hmm. Get those gears turning, Rusty. I think I'll go look through the recycling yard for inspiration. Sounds like a plan. See you in a bit. <gasps> I've got it! It's perfect. Hey, Ruby, I found some really cool stuff we... Ah! What do you think? It's... Uh, kind of big and not exactly cuddly. <laughs> it's super cool, though. Check out the wings and the awesome spider legs and the cute little puppy face. No, it's totally cool. It's just, do you think it's going to make a good pet for Anna? Of course it is. Anna loves animals, right? So why give her one when she can have a bunch in one super awesome package? Good point. So what are you going to call it? Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy? I even programmed it to respond to Anna's voice, like that monkey. Oh, so sweet! And it loves to play. Watch! Best of all, it's super easy to take care of. That green button turns it on. But if Anna's too busy, she can just hit this red button and turn it off. See? 
very cool. Can I try? Go for it. <laughs> Looks like it's hungry. Here, Fluffy. Want a light bulb? <laughs> or a bunch of light bulbs? <laughs> Whoa, easy boy, just calm down. Maybe we should turn them off for a little while. Down, boy, come on, calm down. Hey, this is not calming down. Ruby, that was unexpected. Programming it to do that. Hey, this is not what I planned to do today. Whoa. <gasps> Ruby! Rusty, are you okay? Just, you know, I'd like to get back to the lab now. Wait, I've got something. Remember how Anna got that monkey to come to her? You mean by singing that song? Yes, I recorded it. Hold on. All right, Fluffy, come on down. Monkey, monkey, laugh. Monkey, monkey, bright. Is it working? Monkey, That's monkey, as loud monkey, as my speakers go. No, we can't even hear it. You're gonna have to sing. Okay, I'll give it all I've got. Monkey, monkey, laugh. Monkey, monkey, bright. Have you started singing yet? Yes. Can you hear me? What? Can you hear me? What? It's so too high up to hear, but I have another idea. Time to confine it and design it. We need a giant speaker so the music can sound even louder. Then we need rocket boosters so the speaker can go where Fluffy can hear it. And finally, we need Bodasaur to hold it all together. Put them all together and we've got our plan. Mechanical. I only have experience with real animals. 
Trust me, just sing to it. Sing to it? Yes, sing your song, the one you sang to calm the monkey down before. I programmed it to respond to your voice. Well, monkey, monkey, see? Oh, wait, that's not right. That's not a monkey. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. <coughs> fluffy, fluffy, see? Fluffy, fluffy, do? Come here, little <laughs> creature. I'm singing just for you. It's working! It's working! Puppy spider laugh, puppy spider bright. Come here, little creature, and I'll hug you <laughs> so tight. Rusty, I shouldn't have combined a puppy, spider, and a bat. One of them would have been enough. That's okay, Ruby. It was actually kind of fun. I'm sorry, Anna. I made this for you, and I might have gone a little too far. Wait, that's for me? Seriously? Do you like it? Like it? I love it! It's the most unique creature I've ever seen! How does it work? Watch out! It can get pretty excited. <laughs> I know how to talk to animals. Wow, that was amazing. I have always wanted my own puppy and an enormous spider who could fly with bat wings. <laughs> Thanks, Ruby. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Aw, uh, you're welcome, guys. Speaking of awesome, I have my own pet I'd love to spend time with. <whistles> Ruby, pass me the basketball! You can do it! Uh, home run? That's baseball. Wow! Hey guys, what you doing? Playing basketball. Wanna play? That's okay. I'm not very good at basketball. But I made this! Wow, Liam. That's a nice looking, uh, spaceship? Thanks, but this isn't just any spaceship. It's the Flugarian Mothership from my favorite comic book, Flugaria Attacks. Huh. So, what's this? Oh, this is cool. It's a laser light. Watch. Nyar, nyar, nyar. Hmm, that keeps happening. I think my space tape is losing its stickiness. Ugh. Yeah. Can you get that for me, Rusty? Thanks. My spaceship also has an anti-gravity turbo wheel, warp thrusters, and of course, the alien grabby hand that the Flugarian mothership uses to try to grab everything on Earth. We don't want that to get into the wrong hands. Oh, whoops. That keeps falling off, too. I must have dropped it back at my place. I can go get it if you want to see it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Great. You guys are gonna love it. I'll be back in a flash. Nyar, nyar, nyar. Oh, can you guys do me a teensy favor when I'm gone and reattach my laser light? No problem. Thanks, guys. Nyar, nyar. Surrender, Earthlings. So, what do you think will work best? Tape? Glue? Well, I actually had a couple of other ideas. But first, let me take a look at that comic book. And done. What do you think? Whoa, it's just like in the comic book. Maybe I should make a few more adjustments so it stops falling over. Uh, okay. I'll start by tweaking the control hatch. Then I'll redo the warp thrusters. And then I'll change over the anti-gravity. Whoa, Rusty, I don't know. Liam's really proud of his spaceship the way it is. But Liam did say we could fix it, right? Well, yeah. Then let's fix up this Flugarian mothership. <laughs> Whew, that is a 
an awesome Flugaria mothership. Bye-bye! Want to take it for a spin, Ruby? All right. Prepare for blast-off! <laughs> Uh, Rusty? Hmm, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let me take a look. Hey, Whirly and Ray, can you guys climb into the cockpit and hit some buttons when I tell you? Come out! Whoa, did you guys hit a button or something? Oh. Oh. Okay, just stay calm and we'll get you out of there. Okay, forget staying cold. <laughs> hey guys, I still can't find my grabby arm, so whoa! <laughs> what was that? That's your spaceship. <laughs> we made a couple of changes. But I like my spaceship the way it was. But it can fly! And it's got all the other stuff from the comic book. Yeah. Plus it says... <laughs> That's Whirly and Ray. They're trapped in the cockpit. Yeah. Uh -oh. Everyone duck! <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Controls are inside the cockpit. <sighs> if only I hadn't messed with your spaceship. I'm sorry, Liam. I just wanted to build something myself and be like you, Rusty. I know, but we'll fix this. I promise. I'm not sure how yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. Didn't you install a landing button for the spaceship? Yes, I did. That'll get it down. Whirly, Ray, there's a yellow button on the bottom left of the dashboard. Do you see it? Uh, uh huh. Press it. That'll land the spaceship. <laughs> oh no! What happened? That was the wrong yellow button. That one's for the alien grabby hand. You made a grabby hand? No, the spaceship is going to try and grab everything on Earth. Just to soccer balls. We have to stop it before it grabs everything in town. But how do you stop an alien ship from a comic book? That's it! We'll do exactly what the hero in the comic book did. Which was? I don't know. I didn't read it. Don't worry. I know someone who's read that comic like a million times. Me. We just need to build this. And by we, I mostly mean you. No problem. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with robo legs that can keep up with a speeding spaceship. Then we'll add some powerful arms to grab that grabber. And finish it all off with clamping and lifting action from Crush and Jack. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Liam? The X9 7000! And it has two grabby 
hands to grab evil alien spaceships. Thanks to Jack and Crush. <laughs> yeah! Now, it's time to get inside. Wait, me? You're the only one who really knows how to stop that spaceship. My entire life has led up to this moment. All right. Crush, Jack, you ready? Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's go get that Flugarian mothership! Get up now, space scoundrel! You stand no chance against the X-9-7000! I will free your captives, and then I will defeat you! Wow, he's good. <laughs> Liam. It was great the way it was. That's all right, Rusty. I know you were only trying to help. Besides, I'm kind of glad you changed it. Really? Sure. I mean, saving the world is great, but now that I have the X-9-7000, I get to do something else I never could before. I can be super awesome at basketball now. <laughs> He's ever going to give that suit back. As long as he keeps the Earth safe from Flugarians, I'm good. <laughs> 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 